Từng vốn tiếng Anh thông dụng cho giao tiếp. Did you get that? Stay watching so you can find out the answer later in the program. Hay những kiến thức cần thiết chuẩn bị những kỳ thi quan trọng để sẵn sàng đi du học. Hay đơn giản là vừa hát vừa học những chủ đề tiếng Anh quan trọng. Năm từ mới tiếng Anh mỗi ngày. Words on the street, Sin to learn, Tá mèo và nhiều chương trình hấp dẫn khác vào các khung giờ quen thuộc. VTV7 English học tiếng Anh thật dễ mỗi ngày duy nhất trên VTV7. Hi, I'm Stephen Walker. I'm Ashley Walker, and this is Word on the Street. In today's program, love and marriage. Ashley is looking for her perfect partner. I'm just so unlucky in love. Oh, you're just not meeting the right people. I decide I need some help if I'm going to find true love. Welcome to Speed Dating, the place where you will find love. And we follow one happy couple on their wedding day. They are husband and wife. Hi, and welcome to the program. One of my favourite days of the year is Valentine's Day. I love sending and receiving cards. I hate Valentine's Day, but I like all those chocolates. Maybe you're just not romantic. Well, maybe she's not a romantic, but Ashley and Stephen are both good at describing how they feel about things. How good are you at expressing your feelings in English? Don't forget, you can follow each program on our website. The address is here on the screen. And something to look out for: What does Ashley do to meet new people? This week, love is in the air as we get ready for Valentine's Day. Dear Valentine, I want the world to know I love you. Roses are red, violets are blue. Oh, I love you more than I can say. It's Valentine's Day next week, and I'm writing the cards I'm going to send. Aren't you going to send any? Oh, what's the point? I never get any back. I'm just so unlucky in love. Oh, you're just not meeting the right people. You should send more. The more cards you send, the more you receive. I don't think it works like that, Stephen. <gasps> That's it, Ash. You need to join a dating agency. You know where they find the perfect partner for you. Mm, I don't know, Stephen. I think they just take your money and match you up with the first person who comes along. And besides, I don't want a computer to make decisions for me. Well, what about speed dating? What? You know, speed dating, where you meet lots of different people in one night, like lots of little dates, like an interview for a boyfriend, and and you get to choose someone, or they get to choose you. I'm sure there's a speed dating night down at the club. It's a great chance to meet new people. In any way, it'll be a lot of fun. Mm. I want to dance to sway and fly tonight. Hi. Wow, Stephen, there are a lot of people here. It seems really popular. Good. Lots of choice for you then. What's the spell for? You ring the bell when you don't want to speak to someone anymore. Then they move on. Now come on, Ashley, sit up straight, <gasps> smile. Stop it, Stephen. Oh, don't forget, you have to make a good impression. Make some jokes. Try and be nice. And if you get bored of them, just ring the bell. Ashley, the lady's about to talk. Welcome to Speed Dating, the place where you will find love and romance and passion, or perhaps just a new friend. Now, you ladies know what to do. You remain seated, and these handsome gentlemen will come to your table. If he's not Mr. Wright, you can always ring the bell. Are you ready? Begin. Yes. So, I really like computers. Don't you? My favourite is the Wakefield CPC four six four nine hundred. I've got some photos here somewhere. Well. I'm really looking for a girl who likes doing housework. Someone who'd like to wash my clothes, do my ironing. 
Your hair's too dark. I like blonde hair. Have you ever thought about changing your hair color? How's it going? Oh, terrible. So far, they've been either totally boring or just weird. Mm, well, I think you should keep trying. Um, it's supposed to be fun, remember? Oh. Oh, look, Stephen. He's very handsome and tall. Go on, Stephen. Go, go, go. Shoo. He's coming over. Uh... Hi. Hi. I'm Ted. Oh, I'm Ashley. <laughs> or, or Ashling in Irish. Or Ash. Actually, my brother calls me Ash, so that would be fine. But well, my full name is Ashley Bridget Alice Walker. But you could call me. We'll go back to see how we got on a bit later. But first of all, let's go through all of that with our English language expert, Rob from the British Council. Hi, Rob. Hi, Ashley. So the speed dating didn't go well then. Oh, it was all a bit of fun, really. I still haven't found Mr. Wright. And Stephen's been busy. He sent quite a lot of cards for Valentine's Day. Yeah, he sent loads. I hope he won't be too disappointed. <laughs> a lot of you will probably know about Valentine's Day. In some countries, it's called Friendship Day or Lover's Day. In the UK, we send cards, but we don't always write our name on the card. So sometimes you don't know who sent you the card. Yes, it's a secret. Anyway, I wanted to look at some of the vocabulary of love and romance that came up. Watch these and tell me the love and romance words you hear. Welcome to Speed Dating. The place where you will find love and romance and passion. Or perhaps just a new friend. Love, romance, passion. If he's not Mr. Wright, you can always ring the bell. Mr. Wright? That's it, Ash. You need to join a dating agency, you know, where they find the perfect partner for you. Dating agency? Perfect partner? You know, speed dating, where you meet lots of different people in one night. Like lots of little dates. Like an interview for a boyfriend. Speed dating. Dates. Boyfriend. Yeah, boyfriend or girlfriend. That's a good list. Can you think of any more words? Um, romantic? Yeah, we said romance, the noun, and romantic is the adjective. This is a game you can play yourselves. Think of a topic, like love and romance here, but you could choose sport or food or anything, and write down as many words as you can on that topic. It's a good way to remember vocabulary. OK, Rob, what's next? Make and do. You know sometimes we use do for expressions like do your homework and we use make for expressions like make a mistake. That's it. Can you remember the rule? When do we use make and when do we use do? Um, I remember. I think you said there isn't a rule. That's right. There isn't a rule. You just have to learn them. Watch some examples. And besides, I don't want a computer to make decisions for me. Make decisions. Yeah. Oh, don't forget, you have to make a good impression. Make a good impression. I'm really looking for a girl who likes doing housework. Someone who'd like to wash my clothes, do my ironing. Doing housework and do my ironing. I know it's tricky to learn them, but when you see a new make or do expression, you have to write it down and make a list. There's another one, make a list. Now, something to finish off with. Have a look at this and listen out for Stephen's piece of advice. Oh, what's the point? I never get any back. I'm just so unlucky in love. Oh, you're just not meeting the right people. You should send more. The more cards you send, the more you receive. Well, he's saying I should send more cards. You should send more cards, he said. Yeah, and he also said the more cards you send, the more you receive. It's like saying the more you exercise, the fitter you become. Well, that sounds like good advice. Good advice and a useful bit of language. The more of something you do, the more of something you get. So the more English you study, the more English you learn. Well, thanks for that, Rob. We'll be back with you a little later. Now it's time for our weekly quiz, Streetwise.
If you announce you are engaged to someone, what does this mean? You're getting married, you're moving in together, or you're splitting up. Did you get that? Stay watching to find out the answer later on in the program. If you're lucky enough to fall in love, you might one day get married. There are lots of different ways to get married in the UK, but a lot of people still choose a traditional wedding in a church. Amandeep received an invitation to join a couple on their big day. The sound of bells in an English churchyard. The bells signal a very special event for one couple, because today is their wedding day. <laughs> Stevie and Bobby are engaged and are allowing word on the street to follow them on their special day when they become man and wife. The day starts very early in the morning for the bride Stevie. Her bridesmaids help her with the preparations. I spoke to Stevie as she was getting ready. How are you feeling? Feeling a little bit nervous but very excited. Yeah. And what have you got left to do? Just having my hair done now then put on my dress after. Across town at Bobby's house, there is lots of food to prepare. And Bobby's also getting ready. Nice to meet you. So it's your big day today? It is. Fantastic. Is this the main suit? It is. Brilliant. This is it. Just check it fits all OK and yeah. it's ironed well. Yep. Oh, it looks good. Bobby and Stevie are having a traditional Christian wedding in a church. But today in Britain, there are many different marriage ceremonies depending on the religion or beliefs of the couple. A civil ceremony is a non-religious legal marriage that takes place somewhere other than a place of worship. Same-sex couples can also get married in Britain. To understand more about today's ceremony, I met the vicar who's going to be leading it. What are the origins of this marriage ceremony? This marriage ceremony goes back but first to the Reformation in the 16th century and then further back in time uh, and it is a standard Christian wedding with Christian vows made in the name of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And what's your advice for a long and successful marriage? A good deal of tolerance, a willingness to ask for help uh, and a sense of humour. The groom arrives first and waits for his bride. The atmosphere at a wedding is a mixture of pride, joy and celebration. There may be a few tears too of happiness. The bride arrives in a horse-drawn carriage, accompanied by her father. And now the ceremony can begin. Bobby and Stevie have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. With those important words and the signing of the official register, Bobby and Stevie are now legally husband and wife. Let's go. After some photographs to record the big day, everybody will go to a local hall for dinner and a big party called the reception. Congratulations to the newly married couple from Word on the Street. And if you'd like more help with the language you heard there, you can go to our website. The address is on the screen. This is Word on the Street. Still to come in the programme, Ashley's still looking for love, so she decides to try online dating. Open, Ashley. Let's see who you've got. And have you worked it out yet? Stay watching to find out the answer to Streetwise. 
We all fall in love with different people, but you might be surprised to find out the reason we like someone is not just about looks or personality. In this week's Seat on the Street, we ask our expert about the science of attraction. Why are people attracted to each other? It's a bit of a mystery why it is that we are attracted to some people and not to others. So you may have somebody who looks absolutely perfect on paper, but when you meet them, you just don't fancy them. On the other hand, there could be somebody where you think, oh, I won't like this person. And then you meet them and you fall head over heels in love. It's all a bit of a mystery. What do we know about the science of attraction? There are two main things we know, and one is that we find people more attractive if they have very even symmetrical features. So their eyes are very evenly spaced, even their earlobes are the same length as each other, and we find these symmetrical people more beautiful. The other interesting thing is that we're attracted to people who look a little bit like us. So in experiments, if I was in the experiment, they might show me lots of photographs of men and they'd make one of those men look a bit like a male version of me. And the chances are that that's the person I'd pick out. What are the stages of attraction? Scientists have identified three main stages of attraction. The first of those is lust. Do you fancy this person or don't you? The second stage is about falling in love. And this is when you might lose your appetite, not be able to sleep and not be able to think about anything apart from this person. And the third and final stage is about building attachment. It's about forming those long-term bonds that allow you to stay with someone for a really long time. And what's amazing is that scientists have found that there are different levels of chemicals in the body in each of these three stages. Thank you for taking part in Seat on the Street. My pleasure. Let's go back and see how Ashley was getting on with her search for Mr. Wright. While Stephen was still waiting for the postman. And something to look out for, how does Ashley describe herself in her dating profile? Stephen! For goodness sake, you'll scare the postman away. Anyway, it's too early. The postman usually comes at 11. Yeah, you're right. He'll probably be late. He's got to carry all those cards for me. It's Valentine's Day today and Stephen takes it very seriously. He thinks he's going to get a lot of cards this year. I sent lots of cards, so I'll get lots of cards. Simple. Stephen, it doesn't work like that. Anyway, I thought you were going to help me with my online profile. The speed dating didn't really work out, so now Stephen thinks I should try online dating to see if I can meet someone on the internet. Yeah, we're going to try it, Ash. Come on, let's take a picture. You'll need one for your profile. I'm a very good photographer. <laughs> okay then, come on. Okay, so now you have to describe yourself. So, I guess we could say tall, uh, beautiful, <laughs> funny, clever, thin, successful. Or maybe you could just tell the truth. Ah, uh, Stephen. Okay then, which of these statements sounds most like me? Am I A, quiet and shy, B, outgoing and chatty, C, optimistic and confident. Ah, definitely optimistic and confident. Quiet and shy. Okay, hobbies. Tick all the boxes that are true for you. Hmm. Let me see, okay. Playing cards, yes. Gardening, yes. Walking, yes. Uh, hang on, Ashley, I've never seen you do any of those things. Well, I'm trying to sound mature, you know, more grown up. Mature? You sound like an old lady. You're supposed to tell the truth. Postman. Just the one card, Stephen. 
It's not how many you get, Ashley. It's the thought that counts. Ooh, listen to this. Your eyes are like diamonds that shine in the sky. Stephen, is that your writing? Uh, no. Uh, yes, it is, Stephen. Did you send yourself this card? Uh, no, Ashley. Um, I noticed you didn't get any. Anyway, how's your profile going? All finished, actually. Now I just need to wait for a reply. Oh my goodness, that was quick. <gasps> quick, open it, Ashley. Let's see who you got. Um, strange photo. Uh, what's the message? What does he say? Well, his name's Barry. He says our interests are the same. They match perfectly. He wants to meet. Oh, do I hear wedding bells? Well, I think I should meet him. He sounds nice. But Stephen, you will come, won't you? Just to keep me safe. Okay. But how will you recognise each other? Mm, we could wear a red flower or something. A red flower? That's a silly idea. You never wear flowers. Um, maybe you should wear something green. I know, a green scarf. Uh, okay, uh, let me message him. Okay, done. Ooh, I'm going on a blind date. Stephen, what on earth are you wearing? Shh, I'm in disguise. <sighs> yes, but why? So no one recognises me. Right. Okay, look. I'll sit on that bench over there. You text me if you see him arrive. Remember? Green scarf. Green scarves everywhere. I should have worn a flower. Look right. Man in hat. Green scarf. Flowers. Ashley. Ashley Walker? Oh, no. <laughs> Ashley, you asked for that. I told you, you needed to tell the truth. <laughs> right, that's it, Stephen. I give up on dating. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. <sighs> Poor Ashley. No romance for her this time. Well, she didn't tell the truth when she filled in her form. She said she was quiet and shy. She's not quiet and shy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Anyway, let's look at those adjectives again. Am I A. Quiet and shy B. Outgoing and chatty C. Optimistic and confident ah, Definitely optimistic and confident. How would you describe yourself, Stephen? Me, um, optimistic and chatty, I think. Yes, I think I'd agree with that. Now, those adjectives, quiet, shy, outgoing, what do they describe? Kind of how you are. Your character. Yes, they describe your character. So when you describe someone, you can describe what they look like, their appearance, and you can describe what they are like, their character. So, for appearance, we can say tall. What's the opposite? Short. And for character, we can say optimistic. The opposite? Um, pessimistic. Right. Now, appearance or character? Shy. Character. And the opposite? Um, outgoing. Sociable. Something like that. Yeah, they're both possible. This is a good way to practice. Make your own list and see how many adjectives you can add. Now, I want to look at another couple of things. Uh, OK, uh, let me message him. I'll sit on that bench over there. You text me if you see him arrive. Ashley said let me message him. 
and text me. And? Well, in those examples, message and text are verbs. Twenty years ago, message and text would be nouns and nothing else. We'd have said, let me send him a message or send me a text. We still do say that. We do. But more recently, those words have become verbs as well as nouns. So it's fine to say, text me when you arrive. English is a living language. It changes over time. And when enough people use a new word, it becomes part of the language. So what's the past tense for text? Who decides that? Texted. It's a regular verb. I texted him yesterday. She messaged me from the airport. They're both regular. But who decides that? No one. Everyone. The language is how people use it. I see. And one more thing, Stephen. Let's look at this clip. Stephen! What on earth are you wearing? Shh! I'm in disguise. What on earth? Not just what are you wearing, but what on earth are you wearing? You look really strange. I like that expression. I like that outfit. I thought it was a great disguise. Yes, Stephen. Thanks, Rob. Now we've just got time to find out the answer to this week's Streetwise. If you announce you are engaged to someone, what does this mean? You're getting married, you're moving in together, or you're splitting up. And the answer is, you're getting married. Congratulations on your engagement. <laughs> I hope you got that. If not, better luck next time. Well, that's about it for this week. Today, we looked at some expressions with make and do. It's easy to get these confused. We make a mistake, we make a decision, and we make a good impression. But we do our homework, we do the ironing, and we do the washing. There isn't a rule to follow, so why not make a note when you hear them and keep a list of examples? Then we looked at giving advice. We often use should to give advice. You should study if you want to improve your English. And we saw another way to give advice. The more English you study, the more English you learn. And how would you describe yourself? Optimistic and confident? Outgoing and chatty? We looked at adjectives to describe character and appearance. And finally, we looked at message and text. These words are nouns and they've also become verbs. So we can send a text or send a message, but we also say, I'll text you or I'll message you. Don't forget to visit our website for more help with your English. Thanks, Rob. From Steve and Rob and me, goodbye. Goodbye. Make some jokes, try and be nice. And if you get bored of them, just ring the bell. Ashley, the lady's about to talk. Welcome to Speed Dating, the place where you will find love and romance and passion. Or perhaps just a new friend. Now, you ladies know what to do. You remain seated and these handsome gentlemen will come to your table. If he's not Mr. Wright, you can always ring the bell. Are you ready? Begin! Yes, so I really like computers. Don't you? My favourite is the Wakefield CPC 464900. I've got some photos here somewhere. Visions for me. Well, what about speed dating? What? You know, speed dating, where you meet lots of different people in one night. Like lots of little dates. I can interview for a boyfriend and... And? You get to choose someone or they get to choose you. I'm sure there's a speed dating night down at the club. It's a great chance to meet new people. In any way, it'll be a lot of fun. Mm. I want to dance to sway and fly tonight away. Wow, Stephen, there are a lot of people here. It seems really popular. Good. Lots of choice for you, then. What's the spell for? You ring the bell when you don't want to speak to someone anymore. Then they move on. Now, come on, Ashley. Sit up straight. <gasps> smile. Stop it, Stephen. Oh, 
Don't forget you have to make a good impression. Cần vốn tiếng Anh thông dụng cho giao tiếp. Did you get that? Stay watching so you can find out the answer later in the program. Hay những kiến cần tiếp chuẩn bị những kỹ thuật quan trọng để sẵn sàng đi du học. Hay đơn giản là vừa hát vừa học những chủ điểm tiếng Anh quan trọng. Năm từ mới tiếng Anh mỗi ngày. Words on the street, Sing to learn, Tá mèo và nhiều chương trình hấp dẫn khác vào các khung giờ quen thuộc. VTV7 English học tiếng Anh thật dễ mỗi ngày duy nhất trên VTV7. Hi, I'm Stephen Walker. I'm Ashley Walker, and this is Word on the Street. In today's program, love and marriage. Ashley is looking for her perfect partner. I'm just so unlucky in love. Oh, you're just not meeting the right people. I decide I need some help if I'm going to find true love. Welcome to Speed Dating, the place where you will find love. And we follow one happy couple on their wedding day. They are husband and wife. Hi, and welcome to the program. One of my favourite days of the year is Valentine's Day. I love sending and receiving cards. I hate Valentine's Day, but I like all those chocolates. Maybe you're just not romantic. Well, maybe she's not a romantic, but Ashley and Stephen are both good at describing how they feel about things. How good are you at expressing your feelings in English? Don't forget, you can follow each program on our website. The address is here on the screen. And something to look out for: What does Ashley do to meet new people? This week, love is in the air as we get ready for Valentine's Day. Dear Valentine, I want the world to know I love you. Roses are red, violets are blue. Oh, I love you more than I can say. It's Valentine's Day next week, and I'm writing the cards I'm going to send. Aren't you going to send any? Oh, what's the point? I never get any back. I'm just so unlucky in love. Oh, you're just not meeting the right people. You should send more. The more cards you send, the more you receive. I don't think it works like that, Stephen. <gasps> That's it, Ash. You need to join a dating agency. You know where they find the perfect partner for you. Mm, I don't know, Stephen. I think they just take your money and match you up with the first person who comes along. And besides, I don't want a computer to make decisions.